There's some negative stigma around spending money on yourself and your music career. Also, there's loads of scammers out there offering bot-driven AI services that don't actually help your career at all. Today, I wanna to look at ways to invest in your music career without getting scammed so you make positive steps forward. Let's do this. Let's debunk some myths first. Let's get the big ones out of the way. The first one, I don't need to spend any money on my music career. My music will do the talking for me. You're right, you don't. The other one that's always interesting is, so I need to pay for now. Again, you don't. You can choose to if you want to. With both of these, there are some amazing free marketing platforms that allow you to create free content to help you shout about your music and your skills, which are gonna help your music career. And that's definitely gonna push you forward. You can use those free marketing platforms, i.e. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, to benefit you massively. As with anything in life, if you invest in yourself and your skills and your strategies, it's gonna improve yourself and you are gonna grow faster. There are actually loads of ways to invest in yourself and I've broken these down into eight categories and some of them you'll be doing without even noticing you're doing it. So let's look at these. The first category, books. There are some credible books out there that are super cheap and packed full of information for you. Whether you choose to buy the hardback, the softback, read it on a Kindle, listen to it as an Audible, they're out there for you to grab. And in my Discord now, I've created a book club where I'm gonna shout about the stuff that I'm reading and hope that others will do the same so we can have a collective knowledge of the great books to read. A bit of a library of dance music and marketing books, if you were. Some of my favorite books, Rock the Dance Floor by my good friends over at Digital DJ Tips. If you wanna know how it feels to be a DJ, to share music with people that also love the similar music, to receive adulation from a packed dance floor, then you want to check out this book. It's really good. It really sets you on the way as being a DJ. Thinking of starting a YouTube channel, then you want to look at YouTube Secrets by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis from Think Media. It's a great book and it's packed full of information. This book actually gives you the secret sources to YouTube and it's going to help you build a channel as DJs and producers. Also, a really great book is Superfans by Pat Flynn. It's a real eye-opener for growing an audience and a community and the benefits of doing so and also how to do that. I'll link to all three of these books in the description. Number two, learning and education. Taking that education further from books, let's talk about upgrading your skills as firstly as DJs and producers. And this is vital these days. In the IMS business report from 2023, they saw that the education sector had grown massively and one was one of the biggest growth areas of business last year. There are obviously plenty of free learning to be done on the YouTube and including this channel where we teach you everything after you become a DJ and producer, how to market yourself, how to understand SoundCloud, how to grow your Instagram, how to grow your Spotify, how to get music signed and how to get more gigs. But if you want to improve your production skills, then you want to check out people like Tour Room Academy, for the tech house and house producers, Education and Bass for our drum and bass and jungle fans. And my good friend over at EDM Tips covers the rest. These are all great channels and they have great courses as well. These production courses massively level you up. And I've worked with students who come from each of the courses and the music and the quality of output they've got from after it makes it easier when they join my course, The Artist Blueprint, to help promote themselves further. They've got a better product and they've got better skills. It makes the marketing side much, much easier. Also, with the better production and better skills and better records, it allows them to get on better labels, makes that part of the process easier too. After COVID, there are also some bigger artists doing one-to-one -one sessions. People like Max Chapman, Inglacius, Umek, Harvey Mackay, and a host of drum and bass producers as well. I'd check your favorite producers on their link trees and see if they offer a one-to-one -one service or just message them and see if they offer that. Other cool platforms is Discord servers. There's a great Discord server where I'm a tutor in. It's called Kick and Bass. This is owned by West End, the tech house producer. And again, it's full of tech house producers but it's really good and they have regular sessions in there with other producers that teach and I do a social media thing in there. For my vocalists and rapper friends then this could be about hiring a vocal coach to improve your skills there. That'll then take you to the next level. Whilst we're talking about education I'll quickly touch on my course The Artist Blueprint. This is focused like I said on everything after you've made the record and learned to produce and learn to DJ. If you've got music ready and you can't get it signed or you're struggling with social media you don't know how to build your audience you don't know how to build your content and we go in depth on it. We have an online course we have great weekly group mentoring with me and a host of other things. And if you want to chat more about the course, I've linked to jump on a discovery call with me and see if it, let's see if it's right for you. We'll chat about what you're doing now, what you do want to get to, and we'll see if it's, the course is right for you. And if you want to do that, I'll link to it below and I'll see you on a call. Next up, hardware and software. See some of these investment things you might already be doing yourself already. And when it comes to hardware and software in production, you probably are, because you'll always have a constant eye on what's next. When it comes to software, there seems to be about a million plugins being released every week. And you'll always be going, oh, I need, do I need this plugin, that plugin? But when I've interviewed a load of great producers on my music talk channel on YouTube. If you've not checked that out with all the interviews, go and check it out. A lot of them will always say, get to your, the plugins you're using within Ableton, within Logic first, and really master those before you add any extras because they are great and you can do a lot with them. If you do want to upgrade, there's some great services like Loop Cloud and Plugin Boutique. 
and they are now owned by Beatport and they've actually just, whilst I was writing the script for this video, rolled out Beatport Studio and that rolls in Loop Cloud, Plugin Boutique, Loop Masters, all into one service and one monthly installment. Los Seca, my assistant producer extraordinaire, has reduced on Tourum and Data Transmission and he always gives out plugin tips in our demo feedback sessions which happen Monday and Wednesdays and he'll tell you plugins that you could be using to improve little parts of tracks in his excellent feedbacks that he does on our demo feedback sessions. Also when it comes to DJ kit and hardware, oh my god, everyone knows the next piece of hardware they want, whether it's a CDJ 3000 or a V10 mixer, you'll all know exactly which ones are on your shopping list, in your kind of mental tick list of where you want to go to next, but these are all investments. Other things you can think about investing in when it comes to making content is whether you're going from your iPhone up to like we're using a DSLR camera, this can improve all your quality of content, but the iPhone is so good now, you don't need to think about doing that too much. Whether it's adding a tripod so it makes it mount better, adding extra lights so that you look better on screen, a ring light's going to make you pop out and make you look a little bit better. But again, using the natural light through a window on the side of your face is still going to work just as well if you can't afford these things. I use little Bluetooth mics which plug into my phone, you've seen them in some of my content and they're quite cheap, I'll link to them in the card below. They're really great for making you sound better on content, especially if you're filming outside, you get a much clearer sounds if you're making that piece of content in front of the club where you're about to go and perform. I've also picked up this little square light which I'm going to get, I'm going to link to below, it's by Ulanzi, it was quite cheap and again it gives you that little extra light when you're filming in a dark space. Number three, people. Adding people to your business, and this is a business, let's not forget, is key and in taking on the right people at the right time is going to massively push you forward. It's exactly the same with DJs and producers. Remember this is the music business and you should think of your career as a business. As an artist you should be trying to grow that business. This next section I'm going to break down into two types of different people and there are two types of different people within the industry. Those that you give a percentage to and these include managers and booking agents. With both of these you can do a lot of the stuff they're going to do to bring to the table yourself before you need to give that percentage away and always consider do I need to do a give a percentage away or can I be doing it myself? Can I hustle for gigs? Can I message all the clubs and ask can I have a gig? If you are thinking about taking on these managers and they are going to take a percentage then you need to have something to percentage to be something before you can give it away. I.e. stuff's going on for yourself or you've just signed that massive record and there's a potential for that percentage to be something. Because we always remember percentage of nothing is still nothing. So if you're not earning anything it's not going to work for them is it? And their businesses. A manager will open doors for you, they'll help get your music signed and the big one is help you say no to stuff to stay on track with your goals. They will have contacts to bigger labels, to vocalists, to recording studios, they'll help you with strategy and they'll help keep you on your targets. They'll also manage the overall strategy and the team that you're starting to pull together and that's really vital as you're getting bigger and bigger and it'll allow you more space to just be the artist and be creative. They'll usually take a percentage and this is usually around 20% of all of your earnings. When it comes to adding any people like managers, look at what they've been doing for the last three years. A massive, massive red flag is any manager that is still banging on about something they did 20 years ago. The industry's changed so much, even in the last three years, that anyone that's had success in those three years is a manager you want to be working with. Anyone else is a red flag as far as I'm concerned. These people that 15, 20 years ago won't have the relative skills that are important for you today. If you missed out on one of my recent videos where one of my course members from the Artist Blueprint got management, check that out next. We go in depth on how he got his manager. Let's talk the booking agent. The booking agent will take requests for bookings. They'll find you bookings from their massive network. And again, this is a network you're not going to have, of promoters you're not going to have access to. They will look on your strategy and how to grow into new territories. And like I said, we'll have a network bigger than you don't have. Booking agents will usually charge the promoter a percentage of the booking fee. Or if the booking is a landed deal, will take a percentage out of the whole fee. And landed is means it's all in one price for you to go and perform. And this is usually between 10 and 15%. And you'll agree that upfront. When you're looking to work with a booking agent, they'll normally approach you again because you've got stuff going on. They'll see you've got heat and be getting bookings and then they can see they can amplify that to get you more and more and more. And if you're at a point where you're starting to get bookings and you're getting regular bookings that are around £500 a booking, then you're potentially ready for booking agencies. If you're not at that point, then you need to keep hustling, my friends. The second section of people is people you hire to do extra work for you or to bring extra skills to you. And in this section, I'm going to include people like photographers and publicists. Hiring a photographer to get you a really great batch of press photos is absolutely killer. Having a regular batch of new photos really, really helps your social media content. And they can literally be used for everything from social media posts to artwork covers to podcast covers to headers, flyers, that you name it, it can be used for press photos. Having a batch of 20 to 30 photos can give you content when you've got nothing going on. It can be the cover for the carousel of new tracks that you're about to announce. If you don't want me when I'm going to talk about carousels, check out this video where I go in depth on how to make a carousel. Other people you could work with are people like vocalists and hiring vocalists to give you original vocals is going to push your production to the next level. If you are looking for vocalists, then in my Discord, we actually have a section for vocalists. Or if you are a vocalist, join our Discord because there are 
with producers looking for vocalists in there. Go and check that out. If you want to make a track sound even better, then mix and master engineers are another person you can hire and he's going to make the track sound bigger and fuller. And it can bring that extra gloss to a track that's going to push it over the line. At Data Transmission, we use our good friend Gorp. He's at Most Wanted Audio. They're really, really good. And we actually have a promo code. It's called Boost10. If you email him and say that code in the chat, you'll get 10% off your next mix and master. Go and use him. He's great. And I'll link to Moose Wanted in the description. Publicists are a big hire. And what a publicist will do will get you press and PR and media for things like magazines, radio, TV, blogs, influencers. They can get you key coverage on those different networks. They are an expensive hire and you usually hire them for three to six months. Usually have it on a retainer, but they are no guarantee to results. But the good ones can really, really extend your network. With publicists, the more you have going on, the more they have to work with, the more the story they can build around you, the more they can sell it to blogs and websites like myself at Data Transmission. Going into a publicist early can be just be an expensive expedition. And again, you can be doing this yourself. You can be reaching out to these media yourself. You can be DMing people. You can be emailing people like myself as an editor of Data Transmission and saying, can I do a premiere? Can I do this? Can I have a mix? You can do this yourself. Next up, marketing. When it comes to marketing, there are so many ways to invest in yourself. Some are going to move the needle and some are just going to be a complete waste of money. When it comes to buying streams, fake followers, Spotify promotion, this can all add fake plays. This is a waste of money. And they're just going to inflate numbers and do nothing. So let's look at the stuff that can actually help. These are, first up, dance music influencers, i.e. influencers on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, SoundCloud. These all can help push you out there. You can pay for posts on their channels or collaborative posts, which basically sends a load of their audience to you. It's natural engagement. People find you on their page and want to know more if they've got to check you out and then we'll follow you. These work great because they've built an audience in the space you're trying to build an audience in. So it opens up their following to you. And essentially by them talking about you, they're saying, this person's cool. You should go and check them out. It's that stamper guarantee. To find them, search your genre in the search. You'll see a load of pages come up, i.e. techno or tech house. And then you just go and message loads of them and see if they're right for you. Next, the original influencers, SoundCloud pages. Oh my God, there's so many of those. And again, you can use those to build a following because they built a following in your genre space already. With these, you can get them to repost your track and it basically pushes your track to their audience, opening up their audience to you. And then that's going to drive their fans to repost your track and so forth. And it just keeps growing the tracks. You'll find those tons of pages that offer repost and they'll charge a small fee to open up to their audience. We do that at Data Transmission. We do it with our bigger channel, with our drum and bass channel, with our techno channel. And again, on each of those pages, there's a link to for repost to apply. And I've linked all of our channels below in our SoundCloud channels. Having a radio show can dial you into a certain into different people's networks. This goes back to the old days of pirate radio, where you'd go onto a pirate station, play, and that audience would find you. And the same with today's digital radio. You pay a sub to be on the radio, giving you access to their network and their audience. And this is exactly what we do with Data Transmission. It's a service we offer. By doing this, you can network with other artists, labels, promoters, producers, to leverage the bigger brand, i.e. like Data Transmission, and invite them onto your show. So you go, hi, so-and-so, would you like to come on my show on Data Transmission? And they're going to go, yeah, I'd love that. And it starts you networking with who that is going to be. We are constantly taking on new shows for Data Transmission Radio. And again, I'll link to that in the description. A weekly or monthly mix is a great piece of content as a DJ. And so many of the biggest acts have weekly radio shows. Your radio show can help you build a new audience of people around the world. And it gives you social media content to talk about each week because you're promoting that show. Then once you've made that radio show, you can actually use syndication platforms to syndicate it to other stations and get it on as many stations as possible. And that massively extends the reach of your radio station and therefore yourself by proxy. Facebook and Instagram marketing is a great way to build your audience. It's also a great way to build a follow on Spotify and build Spotify playlist followers. It's also killer for promoting events and releases. You can also use it to get more free downloads on anything you're giving away. And also because you're promoting on Instagram and Facebook, you get more followers on Instagram and Facebook as well. This has a massive steep learning curve and many, many fall at the first steps of this. But it's something our course members are massively using and using to great effect from the ad modules within the course. With advertising, start small, test and learn because you're giving the ad platform more and more data of what people like your content and therefore it will then learn who it needs to serve more content to. You'll get better and better results the more ads you run but and it takes time. Next up, events. Events is one of the easiest to talk about. Let's talk about going to club shows. That's easy. You're going to go clubbing, going to go out every weekend and that's an investment if you use it right and you don't just use it as a chance to go out, get off your face. It can be a chance to meet fellow DJs, producers, promoters and do lots of networking. You can also meet the team that comes with the DJ that's performing as the headliner, i.e. their managers, their press agents, their booking agents, and all the people we talked about in the people section of this video. Also, you can guarantee they'll have other DJs with them that will come to hang out just because they're playing a cool show in that town. Therefore, these events are great for networking. Building your network within this scene is so, so important. The people you know are going to help you get more records signed and get you more DJ gigs. So who do you know? Another great place to meet people within this scene is dance music 
music conferences and they're, where they're about to start happening again this year. I speak about them in depth in my video about dance music conferences. Start planning which ones you're going to go to and which ones are going to work for you and where you're going to network. Number seven, systems. Let's talk about systems and systems you can invest in. These can be simple and upgrading to your SoundCloud Pro. This allows you to upload more mixes, it allows you to see more stats, and it actually allows you to see when people have listened to your track demo. And by seeing that, then you can move on to the next target. Because if you've had one play and not on the rest of the demos, then that means a no, and let's move on to the next person. Hyped It is a platform where you can build followers for your SoundCloud, your Spotify, your YouTube. It's a really good download gate and also link gate system. You can build more followers on your music. You can also use the smart link gates when you're running Facebook and Instagram ads. They work so well, and I use them as a key part of my Instagram strategy. We're also using a scheduling tool called Metrical for all our social media scheduling. It gives great feedback and stats on our post. It allows you to post all of the different types of content across things like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and many more. I'm just going to say with all these things, I'm not being paid to talk about any of these. I'm just talking about the ones that I absolutely love using. And my final thing is I absolutely love using MailChimp. I send out all my newsletters. You probably got the newsletter that talks about this video from me from MailChimp. It's great for building your audience and it gives you a free account up to a couple of thousand members to start off with. And you can use all the people you collected from your download gates in Hyped It and put them into MailChimp so you can mail them about your future downloads and future promotions. Number eight, time. By watching these videos, you've invested your time into learning. And anyone that's got to this point, I want to thank you for watching so far. I really appreciate anyone that checks out our videos on the regular or our live demo feedback sessions on Monday and Wednesday. And anyone that takes the time to put a comment on the video because they really, really help my videos. It lets me know what you've liked, what you've not liked. So if you've got time today, please drop me a comment and let me know what you thought so far. What else do you invest in? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know which ones of these you're investing in or what you have invested in or things that you've invested that actually haven't worked. Shout them in the comments. I'd love to know. After talking about all that investing money, you're going to need to make some money so that you can reinvest it in yourself. So how do you make money as a DJ and producer? How do you make this into a career or make it sustainable as a career so until you grind it out? In this video, I talk about 21 ways to make money as a DJ and producers. As ever, if you've enjoyed this video, please comment. Please like and subscribe. I will see you over in this video. Let's help you make more money. I'll see you over there. I've been Graham Farmer. See you soon. Bye.